Hey guys, so as requested, today I am going to do a video of me feeding some of my Baby Alive dolls. So out here we have Chio and Sarah, and I'm going to be feeding these two girls today. So let's begin. Alrighty, so first we're going to be doing um, Sarah's food, since it's a little easier to make um, compared to Chio's food. So I have here... Some different colored pretend food, which is essentially Play-Doh. I have purple, green, red, and orange. And with those, I'm going to be making a few snacks. I'm going to be making today apple slices, orange slices, and then for dessert, I'm going to make her these um, little heart-shaped cookies. So, first let's start with the apple slices, because those are her favorites, actually. And I'll take this out. Right, so I'm going to squash this down a little bit. Roll it out. I want to roll out as much as I can because I want to make a lot of different apple slices for her. So I want to make it as flat as possible so that I have enough to make a few. All right, let's see. So I'm gonna punch this down like that, and then punch this down like that. And there we have a few apple slices. So we're gonna add these onto her little plate right here. So we've got one, two, Three. This one got a little squashed because I had trouble picking it up. And then four, five, six. And some of the Play Doh got on the table. Let me add that back up. <laughs> Alright, I think I can use enough Play Doh for one more batch of apple slices. So let's squash this down one more time. <clears throat> And we're going to punch the shapes in. Okay. So now we have three more right here. She's going to have a lot of apple slices today. Look at that. <laughs> but she loves her apple slices, so she'll, she'll be happy about that. All right, we're going to put the remaining Play-Doh inside the container here. And we're going to move on now with orange slices. Sarah likes orange slices, not as much as um, her apple slices, but she'll still eat them. So I'm going to try to scrape out as much as I can. Sometimes a Play-Doh gets stuck in the container and it kind of stinks when I have to do, when I have to um, scrape it out and I have long nails because then they get stuck in my nails which can be kind of annoying sometimes. All right. So again, we're rolling it out as flat as I can. So I want to be able to make a lot of different orange slices for Sarah. But this one only has one cutter, so we'll only like punch maybe a few out. So one, two, three, um, four, and five. There you go. So these are what the orange slices look like. Um, when you punch them out with the cutter. So we have a grand total of one, two, three, four, and five. I think I'll just leave it at that because she's got a lot of apple slices already. So, all right. And then, lastly, for her dessert, 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 <laughs> she's going to have um, these little heart shaped cookies right here. This one's an all new pack of Baby Alive pretend food. So, here goes something. 
as you can see. Now I'm about to pull some out so I can make the cookies with. All right, I'm only gonna need a little bit because I'm only gonna make one of these shapes. So I'm not really gonna need a whole lot of Play-Doh. In fact, I think this is more than enough. So let's, oh no, it fell. Hang on one second. Good thing the bathroom was just clean because otherwise this would have had hair and dust all over and that would have been gross. But yeah, um, what was I gonna say? Oh yeah, um, here are the heart-shaped cookies. So, here is what we have for my Sarah Baby Alive. So now, we're going to move on and make Chio's food. Now, this is the first time I've ever worked with, like, Baby Alive food powder packets. So, and I don't have the instructions with me, so I don't know if I'm going to be doing this right, but hopefully I will. Um... Hopefully I don't mess something up. But yeah, so now we're going to move on with Chio's food. Alright everybody, so here I am with Chio's food. And as you can kind of see, not really. Um, she's got these two things. <laughs> um, this is her milk bottle, which I'm just going to put water in it. And then this is the mixer that we use um, to stir the food food and the water together. So Chio came with these two food packets right here, like a broccoli one and a pear one. Today we're going to, this thing keeps falling around everywhere. Forget it. <laughs> so today we're going to be making um, this broccoli food for her. So let me just um, shake, the, shake the packet a little bit so there's no product at the top. And I'm going to do this based on how I saw um, someone on YouTube do it. <coughs> so, what she did was she cut like a little corner of this off. And exposes like a little hole there. So then she poured a little bit of the food in. I think this is good, right? This thing smells funny. It smells like... I don't even know. It's like... It's like plasticky... I don't know. It just doesn't smell very pleasant. But... <laughs> Good thing we humans don't actually have to eat this. Um, in fact, I think they say you're not supposed to. Yeah, it says non-toxic, but not for human consumption. So, if you're a little kid out there and you're tempted to eat that... Don't. <laughs> All right, so now <clears throat> we get a tiny cup of water over here, and we're going to pour some of that water into the uh, mixture here. I want to see how well I can make this. All right, I think a little bit of water like that is good. I don't know if it'll reach the mixer thing very well, but we'll see. If not, then I guess I can just shake it. All right, we're mixing it in. Is it working? Barely. Hang on, I'm gonna have to shake this a little bit. Cause like the powder is like accumulating at the bottom. Ew, this looks like, this looks like the exorcist pea soup. <laughs> this is so gross. Okay, maybe it wasn't a good idea to shake it. Now it's gonna be a mess to clean. Yeah. Oh well. It, ugh, it looks like gooey, slimy. It literally looks like exorcist pea soup. <laughs> oh my god, I can't. Okay. Well, that's appetizing. <laughs> Hold on, I'm going to put a little bit more in because it looks like it's very little food. Also, I'm wondering if there are separate, like, you know, little food packets like this for baby live dolls that are sold separately. Um, 
Like, for example, my Snack and Sarah stuff, um, they had, like, separate food packs for her, so I'm assuming they have the same kind of, kind of food packs for the Sweet Spoonful babies. Hopefully. I don't know. I'm gonna have to check my local toy departments whenever I get the chance. This is so gross, but also really funny. <laughs> and again, this is the first time I'm making, like, baby life powdered food, so this is quite entertaining, I must say. Alright, I think that's good enough. Let me see. You. Oh, that is delicious. Look at that. Oh, it fell! Oh no, it fell. Ah, we've got an emergency. Clean up on aisle one. Oh no, we cannot waste this food, you guys. Chio is hungry and she needs to eat. We're going to have to figure this out. Hang on. I'm going to have to smudge my hands a little bit. Ah, I saved what I could, which was like a few drops. <laughs> this is so gross, but so funny. Ew, now I got peat soup all over my hand. Good thing I got my handy dandy baby wipes. All right. This video is going to end up really weird, isn't it? <laughs> I have a feeling. Okay. But then again, like, first timer over here. Like, I'm literally just doing this based on what I've seen on YouTube videos because I don't even have the instructions for this thing anymore. Uh, <clears throat> let me clean around this. And then we put the spoon in here because we got to feed her with the spoon. And so now we know that thing can get messy. So I'm going to have to find like, a bib or something to put on Chia so she doesn't get messy. All right, um, now we're going to fill in her milk bottle with water. Um, her diaper is going to be a whole mess, by the way. There we go. Yeah, if that stuff is what's going to end up in her diaper, I am mildly concerned. <laughs> All right, and then the person, um, the person I saw on YouTube, um, after they finished using the food packet, they kind of just folded it like this. So that they could save the rest of the play food for another time. But I want to be extra secure with this. So what I'm going to do is put this random hair clip. Clip it on a hair so that way it's guaranteed it will not spill all over the place. And essentially make a pea soup mess. Alright. So. Overall. We have... Food ready for Chio and food ready for Sarah. So let's visit them in my room and we'll get to feeding them. All right, so I've got my two girls here with their food ready and we are going to get started on feeding them. So since I'm kind of concerned over the mess this can potentially make um, and I couldn't find a bib that was um, small enough to fit Chio, so what I did was I just got this little cloth to just cover her up like this, and then uh, that way we lessen the chance of ruining her clothes, and hopefully we don't ruin the lining of this carrier either, but we're going to leave her like that for now. I got her food right here and her drink. Oh, and I got to get Sarah's drink out. It's, uh, it's not a real drink, but it's the one that she came with, her juice box. So, let's begin with feeding her. Are you serious right now? <laughs> Alright, forget it. Anyway. Mommy! <clears throat> it sure is, Sarah. <clears throat> Mommy! I'm hungry! You're hungry? Well, lucky for you, we've got food! She ate that real fast. I'm telling you, she loves her apple slices. Do you want more? Yeah. Cool. <laughs> She's got like a little bit of green on her mouth. Neat. That looks yummy. Do you want anything else from the plate? Next, please. Okay. How about we give you a little bit of orange slices? 
Let's see. Thank you. You're welcome. Here's another green apple slice. Awesome. Another orange. <laughs> Eat the orange slice. I see she's not a big fan of the orange slices today. Oh, sure. Awesome. I'm hungry. I've got plenty of food for you, Miss Sarah. Another you apple slice. Next, I need to be changed. Ooh, ooh she's got to be changed. All right. I need a stinky. Ooh, yeah. It's time for a change. Oops. Oh, <laughs> sorry, Sarah. I just like dropped her on her head. Okay. Uh -oh. it's a rose. So what I'm gonna do is I am going to change her. Did I make a stinky? <laughs> I think you did, miss. Hopefully you guys get a good view of this. If not, I'm sorry. <laughs> Alright, let's put our legs down, please. Gotta take your pants off. You already get your diaper out. I think she's a little constipated because the poop hasn't landed in her diaper. Come on, poop! Oh. <laughs> I love how right when she just like poops everything out, she's like, I'm queen! <laughs> oh my god! <laughs> Alright. Hang on, hang on. We gotta finish changing you first. I'm not ready for a nap. I know you're not. Hang on a second. Sarah, don't even think about it. We still gotta finish Mommy. your your fruit slices and your dessert. You forgot about dessert. We're gonna have dessert. You're gonna have a cookie. Okay? Mommy, I can't be laying down. You're not laying down. <laughs> She always has like this confusion as to whether she's sitting or laying down. It's kind of weird, but yeah. So that's the pile she left on the floor. So we're just going to put that to the side. We're going to mash it up actually because we already finished using that. Let's give her the rest of this food, shall we? I think we shall. Here you go. You're almost done, kiddo. Here, let's double up on the apple slices. Here you go. And an orange. <laughs> she looks like a goat. <laughs> Thank you. Alright, and now, guess what? That was yummy. Time for a cookie. Sarah, do you want a cookie? Next, please. You got it. Here you go. Yay! You ate your cookie. Good job. Yummy. That was very yummy, I can tell. You ate through all those things yummy. real quick. Yeah? What do you I need? Like sure. Go ahead. Wash it all down, my friend. Awesome sauce. Thank you. You're welcome. All right, so Sarah's good to go. She had her diaper change, she got fed, she got her drink. So now we're gonna move on with her sister, Chio. Um, now I have her sitting here because I saw in the person's YouTube video that um, she had her doll um, kind of tilted a little bit, like kind of tilting back. I'm assuming so that the food can go down faster. So that's what I'm planning to do with that. And Chio is nice and ready for her broccoli stuff. All right. Get ready, Chio. Here comes the food. Choo choo. Oh my gosh, she actually ate it. Wow. She legit loves her broccoli soup. 
I can't even call it pea soup because it's not really pea soup. It's labeled as broccoli soup. So here you go. Here's your exorcist style soup. <laughs> Wow, she's really liking this, huh, Chio? Well, it's nice to see that you like your vegetables. It's always nice to hear about kids enjoying their vegetables. I feed you some more, yes. Are you enjoying this, Chio? I'm sure you are. Look at you. <coughs> You're eating very nicely. She got a little fidgety there just now. All right. Here's some more. Choo choo. Here comes the broccoli train. Good girl. If only it was as easy to feed real babies as it is to feed a baby alive. Because I feel like with real babies, it's so much messier. Like, I used to work at a place where I had to take care of babies. And let me tell you, it was not easy. There were messes, like, as much as you would try to avoid making a mess, somehow the babies made a mess. <laughs> and it was some pretty interesting times for me. Right, Gio? Yeah. Nowadays I work at a place with older kids, so we don't really see those kind of messes anymore, but still... Some interesting things happen. Kids can be very interesting people, I must say. Oops. Did I overfill you up, Miss Chio? Uh-oh. Her mouth is, like, covered in green stuff. Hang on a second. Okay, I don't think she wants any more. <laughs> Sorry, Chio. Here, how about some milk? Er, milk. <laughs> yeah, right. How about some water to wash that down? Oh, that helped. Cool. Alright, so maybe she was just thirsty. <laughs> yeah, that washed it down pretty well. <clears throat> oh, you know what? Next time, I was just thinking, next time I could use baby powder or something to that extent to make, like, pretend milk for her. Instead of just, like, filling this with water, I could just put milk in it. Why didn't I think of that before? I don't know. <laughs> anyway, Shio, here comes the Broccoli Express! Choo-choo! Chugga-chugga-chugga-choo-choo! Yummy! Does she not want this anymore? I hope so. <laughs> She's like, I am not feeling this anymore. <laughs> I'm sorry, Chio. Maybe I made too much. Here, have some water. Ooh, this is a big one. You ready, Chio? Eat it up. <laughs> oh, I feel so bad for her. I don't think she wants this. Well, I don't really have anything else, Chio. Oh, she is eating it. Okay, she's starting to eat it. Here you go. More broccoli soup for you, my darling. Have some water. You know what I just started thinking? How am I going to clean her after this? Like, the inside of her mouth and everything? I can't, like, open the doll. So how am I going to clean her out? Oh boy. This is stuff that I had to research with Baby Alive dolls. Has anyone read that? Like, this is going to be really gross. I'm sorry, guys. If you guys are eating right now, I highly recommend you, like, either stop eating or skip this part but have you guys read the article about this mom who um found uh her daughter's baby life doll and there were maggots inside of the doll yeah that was 
that like kind of freaked me out a little bit. And I had read that article just around the time that I was getting Scarlet from eBay. So I was like really freaked out about that. I remember the the day that I unboxed her and everything, which I think I made a video about, that was one of the reasons why I took off the diaper that she came in. I mean, it was clean. Like, there was nothing in it. But I was still, like, kind of paranoid after having read that article. So I was like, I'm just gonna throw this out and get her a new one. And then I remember, like, spending hours, like, making sure that her insides were clean. And she didn't really have anything. She had, like, some yellowish, greenish, like, food particles. Like, not food particles, but, like, basically it was something like this. Something like this in her mouth. And I made sure it was all clean. I disinfected her and everything. So she's good now. But, um, and I will say the doll was pretty clean. Um, Scarlet was pretty clean. Even when I had just unboxed her, she was, she was clean. Not gonna lie. But still, I was just, like, paranoid about that article. So, I don't know. So now I'm just kind of thinking, like, how am I gonna clean Chiyo if I can't open her? Unless I can just do the same thing I did with Scarlet and just, like, dump water in her mouth and make it come out of her rear end. <coughs> and just, like, scrub the inside of her mouth with like a little um what are those called those uh q-tips yeah i used a q-tip to clean the inside of scarlet's mouth and also the inside of her rear end so i'm gonna have to do the same thing with chio once i'm done uh feeding her this stuff yeah that went off on a really weird tangent i'm sorry guys <laughs> It's like, well, at least she's almost done with her soup. So that's always good. And she was too young to understand what we're even talking about anyway. She, so she is 100% not bothered. <laughs> she doesn't want the, the soup that much, but she's not bothered. It's taking her a while to... Maybe if I sit her upright, it'll go down faster. Oh, maybe... Ew, her diaper is like soaking wet. Ew, guys, look at this. Look at this. Look at this. Look at this. Ew, that is disgusting. Oh my lord. Did it get wet? Oh my god, it got a little wet. But it didn't get green, which I'm surprised about. It didn't turn green, but it did get wet. Ew, that is nasty. Just like a real baby. <laughs> Oh my god, I'm gonna have to change her now. Hang on a second. Time to change the child, everybody. Her diaper, that is. Alright, so. Ugh. Just like a real baby, everybody. <laughs> Except changing a real baby is actually like a thousand times worse. Oh my god! <laughs> Dude, that is just wonderful. Wowzers. I am shook. <laughs> Ew, look at all that green stuff. I should have gotten some tissues or something to clean her with. I didn't think of that. Uh, I don't have anything on me. Um, hang on one second. I got my handy dandy baby wipes. So, we're, we'll clean her little booty. Using these baby wipes. And then I can put a clean diaper on her. Ugh. Oh, Chio. Looks like you had a lot to eat today, little miss. Let me check the back of you. Looking good in the neighborhood. Alright. <coughs> we need a new diaper. And after that... I'm going to give you a little bit more of that delicious soup that you absolutely love. And we will, I guess, have to change you again. I have like a boatload of baby live diapers though, so my dolls should be okay. 
All right. Oh, that would actually be a really interesting idea for a YouTube video. Um, guys, let me know in the comments down below if you would be interested in seeing a video of how I store all of my baby life supplies. Because I do actually have, like, a bag to store their stuff in now, so. Let me know in the comments down below if that's something that would interest you guys. All right, guys. So that was my video of me feeding my two baby alive dolls. I hope you all enjoyed this, even though I feel like it's going to be kind of long, so uh, it might take a while to upload. But yeah, thank you guys so much for watching. Uh, please comment, like, and subscribe. And to the person who requested this video, um, I really hope you enjoyed this. And um, don't forget to follow me on Instagram, and I will see you all again in my next video. Bye, everybody!